Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Holy smokes! What's going on guys? Tom Davis here, America's Canaan Educator. Thank you so much for joining me today and welcome back to the coolest dog training channel right here on YouTube. You guys, today we have a young golden retriever coming in. The owners can't even walk this dog anywhere. The dog's a little over a year. He's a beautiful dog. The family's so great to work with. We are working on leash pulling, jumping on people, being reactive to other dogs. Just one of the most overly friendly dogs I've ever worked with, as well as one of the only dogs, actually the only dog that's actually played with our fake dog, as you guys have seen on my other videos. He actually played for this with this dog that is not even real for about 20 minutes, which is hysterical. Now, before we get into this video, guys, we were so close last time to hitting the 24-hour challenge, which is 2,000 likes in 24 hours, and then I'll go live and answer your dog training questions. So let's try to do it right now, guys. If you're watching this, hit that like button right now. If I get 2,000 likes within 24 hours, I'll go live this weekend, next weekend, somewhere during the week, whatever. I'm gonna go live and answer your dog training questions. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, cop yourself some No Bad Dog merch, and let's get into the video. He's like, there's so many new people. Yes. Oh my goodness. So just to recap really quick, um, all the basics are pretty good inside, but as soon as we go outside and as soon as we go outside of the house or the yard, everything kind of goes out the window. Okay. Nice to meet you too, buddy. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, um, do you feel like the, so the harness, it's a, do you feel like it, do you feel like it chokes him or do you feel yeah, like? Yeah, because he's pulling so I can hear him straining with his. Yeah, I can, I heard that earlier can, too. Yeah, um, it's not ideal. I don't want to use harness. Do you feel like he, he knows heel? He does know it. So okay. when we're in our yard and uh -huh. we're practicing it and he's engaged and he's looking at me and it's just him and I, he will do it. Okay. Okay. When we go out and his head is another way. <laughs> Boop. You gotta ask me like five times because I really want to do something else. Okay. I'm gonna get a distraction out. I'm gonna get a dog out that every single dog reacts to, every single dog goes crazy to. Okay. Uh, super calm dog. I'll get him out really quick and then I'll grab some equipment and see what's gonna work best for him. Okay. So for me, it's really case by case, dog by dog, owner by owner. Yeah. Uh, so we'll, we'll get some we'll get some couple different things out to see what's gonna work best for you guys, what you guys are comfortable with and what works best for him. Okay. And then we'll go from there. <laughs> so this is what you guys are normally dealing with, right? Typical Goldens, right? <laughs> oh my goodness. So, we'll probably, because he's so big and strong, we'll probably not go to a slip because that won't be safe. We'll probably just switch to a Hermspringer prong. Okay. Obviously this harness isn't gonna work for you guys. I could get out some treats and maneuver him around, but that's only gonna go so far because then it becomes a currency game. I tried that long enough with certain dogs to try to use just a harness and use a gentle leader. But the problem I found over time and time and time and time again with the clients that I was working with, because it was it was, it was was something that I was like, hey, let's try this and see if this works for you, uh, was simply that it became a currency game. So as soon as the dog actually had a different currency, so this, do this dog is gonna be a higher currency than the food that we would provide. And as soon as the food goes away the dog doesn't sustainably understand what we're asking him or her to do and I and I tried that for a long time and I've always used all sorts of different types of tools ever since I've started working with dogs but like we were saying uh, with other dogs I started off as a dog walker and all of the dogs that I worked with literally hundreds of week it was before I even trained dogs I really dreaded this type of setup because my back is actually messed up now I have to go to chiropractic yeah. therapy I had I had I had to since I was 25 years old, mainly because of that. So I don't. I want you guys to be able to bring him for a walk with the family and enjoy him. And I also want him to just understand the rules and regulations, just like with kids, you guys know, I don't have to tell you. Dogs just like kids and kids just like dogs need structure, guidance, leadership, boundaries. And if not, it's gonna be a tough time. Couple things that we're gonna do, uh, even before we, we, we teach heel, is he has to understand the pressure. There's a lot of different ways to use training tools off 
good. Off. So he jumps up on me. I corrected him. And then he did it a little bit after and I said off and then he sat. Sit. Off. Good. Off. Good. Good. Good boy. Good. So you guys saw that correction. Totally. So that punishment right there was precise. He didn't squeal. He didn't go, oh my God, this is terrible. He just goes, hey, that was a little uncomfortable. And I did it quick. And it, and, and it just gets his attention and it disrupts what he's doing. Crew heel. Come on, good boy. So it just, it just gets his attention. Yep, that's it. It's, an, it's a communication tool. Heel, heel, yes, good boy. So it's important that you guys see those corrections because a lot of people think it's like this. It's not, he's just like, hey, what do you want? <laughs> this way, crew, come. Yes, good boy, good job. Crew, a little pressure, come. I want you guys to watch his mental. Watch his mental. Crew, come. Pressure. Good, come. Marking it. Crew, come. Yes, good, come. Here's the test towards you guys. Crew, come. Yes, good boy, well done. See? So he made the mental decision to say, you know what, man? I'm gonna go with you. So I'm not uh, doing this anymore. He just said, yeah, I'm gonna go with you. So that's a taught behavior. You understand? Crew, come. Yes, buddy, good job. Lots of positive reinforcement. Crew, come. Yes, good man, well done, buddy. Good boy. Good boy, we'll see if we'll jump. Good. Normally he'd jump, right? No jumping, why? Because dogs have the ability to cognitively remember punishment, just like kids. Last time I did this, my iPhone got taken away. I'm not doing that anymore and we help them mold. Like, yeah, man, I don't want you to run across the parking lot. You're gonna get hurt. I love you, therefore I care. Therefore, I'm gonna punish you for something that could potentially end up hurting you, of course. What I like to do is, is now just give him a little bit of reward. And I have little tiny pieces of treat. So I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna implement maybe a little bit of food. I'm not gonna be Pez dispensing because then I don't know if he's learning or not. So heel, crew heel. Good, heel. Good job, crew. Good, crew heel. Well done, big man. Heel, yes, do you see that turn? That was brilliant, very good. Well done. Now, I can feed him. Yep, crew sit, yes, good. Calm, no jumping, he's not in my face, he's not, I'm just like, hey man, good job. So I just went four or five times. I said, hey, let's go this way. He said, yep, sure. Hey, let's go, and it's all verbal. I didn't have to use the collar at all. I just said, hey, let's do this, let's do that, and he did wonderful. So again, when we talk about, is the collar suppressing his behavior where he's like, man, I really wanna go there? Absolutely not. I just, I, I turn and I say, crew here, he's like, yep, yeah, sure, no problem. I got it, because you taught me. And I go the other way, and he's like, yep, yeah, sure. And then after four or five times, he sits and he's like, okay, bam. And he gets paid and he's like, yes, heck yeah. All right, you guys wanna try? Go ahead. And then a little pop. Yep. Perfect. Good, turn again. True heel. Good heel. Make sure you reward him. Good heel. Good heel. So when he turns, you see that turn? That's when you reward him. Okay, we'll do a couple laps with you. Good. Do you think he knows it's fake? I don't know. At this point, I have no idea. You just gotta keep. What's up, loud truck? All right, guys, so I grabbed Lakota and we're gonna see how he does with her. Leave it. The other thing you can do is like redirect this way. Heel. Good heel. Good heel. Heel. So remember we talked about like reward-based systems? Yeah. So we come around to her. Sit. Yes. <laughs> there you go. Good heel. Make sure you praise him lots for that. Good heel. Back again. Good. Good heel. 
Nice. She's no, you're you're good. Just let him be a dog, and once this dog comes through and walks, and he just watches. Yes. So this is the test that we like. Even if he gets up, just put him back into a sit. But remember, we talked about suppression versus actually modifying. So watch. Yep. Do I say anything beforehand or no? Nope. You can just say good sit. Good sit, crew. But try to be neutral with it, not like too rewarding, because then he might get up. Good sit, crew. Good sit. Crew. That's where you'd pay him. So you get two dogs. This is actual proof that he's actually sitting there and he's making a better decision yeah. based off of the training that we've done. Yeah. And now you can actually sit, have a dog and have a dog have a conversation yeah. at the same time. Yeah. yeah. Be a human being and good sit, crew. that's where you get lots, lots good of payment. Boy. Very, good. very good. What did you guys think of that? that was excellent. Yeah. Very good. Very good. All right, guys, like, here comes a very wild Lakota. Oh, good girl. All right, so great video, guys. Uh, really great progression. And more importantly, the owners are now gonna be able to enjoy the dog that they have. For the longest time, they literally couldn't bring the dog anywhere because he was pulling all over the freaking place. And it was just really frustrating for him. So really great progress. If you guys haven't yet, to support this channel, I do this for free just for you guys. If you haven't yet, like this video, subscribe to my channel. Turn on your notification bells because we do videos like this every single week and we also do a lot of giveaways. Cop yourself some No Bad Dog merch. Lakota and I will talk to you next time. Peace. <laughs> so get closer to us. They need to see Zach Burt and I. So just the back end. Yeah, like, just, and like her back end awareness is actually pretty good. I've been working on it so I have a lot of extra time with COVID. Good. Yes. Good. See?